Got some car storage out here. Hoppers. Coal hoppers. Aluminum ones. Wow, those are kind of new. Got some more coal hoppers out here, all aluminum. RWSX. What is RWSX? Look at the different sizes. Some are taller than the others. Oh, there is a town here. Well, somewhat. I think there's like two families living here. Three, maybe. I will not be able to see the reverse. This might have been, was this Randolph? Or Strawberry? I have no clue. I'd be in Colorado on Colorado 96. Whatever the first town is east of Eads is what I just went through. And that's where these cars are sitting, is just that first town east of Eads on Colorado 96. Okay. Okay, it's your friendly container man again. F friendly truck driver again. I need to clarify that the second batch of coal hoppers were stored at the first unincorporated town east of Eads. Because now I am currently in Brandon, yes, Brandon, which is still incorporated, I do believe, because there's an elevator. Not that one there. I don't think they use that one anymore. This is Brandon. I would lo so love to have that sign. Yes, it says Brandon on it. Town of Brandon, Colorado. Anyway, the elevator's over here. Oh, there's some horses over there. I can't do that. Here's the elevator. I don't know if they're still using it or not. It kind of looks like it they are, but I don't know. Oh, look, an elevator. And you can't see the head house, but... The head house was sitting on top of the silos. If I made my point clear, is that... I know for sure Colorado and Kansas and Nebraska and Oklahoma... Midwestern elevators, their head house is not a square or rectangular block below, below the head house. The head house sits on top of silos, not like at Wathers ADM. Like I said, that Wathers ADM is probably taking after a prototype in Milwaukee area. And my understanding, my belief is that we, I mean, there are, I think Great Bend has some flour mills. And yes, they are sitting on top of a square structure that has lots of windows. So maybe that, that prototype that they're using wasn't actually a flour mill. Anyway, as you've noticed, there's no more hoppers yet. I'll let you know and record it, of course. Oh, this is all being recorded on the old phone. I've been trying to do everything on the new phone, but it's currently doing something else right now. And I will get a video out here maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow if I have a better signal. Just definitely don't have a signal out of here in eastern Colorado. Anyway, I am currently stuck behind a slow-moving U-Haul. Oh, now he decides to speed up. When it's 40 mile an hour, he decides to speed up. Anyway, we're coming into Sheridan Lake here. I hope he turns and goes north. 
turn and go north. Turn and go north. No, you ain't gonna turn and go north. Great. I see some custom cutters. Wow. There's a there's a lot of custom cutters here, truck wise. But there's only two headers and one combine and two trucks over there. The other side over here had boy, I bet there was at least eight trucks, if not ten. And there's another combine and two more trucks, three trucks, another combine. Wow. Elevators out here. Wow, that truck's seen some better days. The stack's been crunched back. He must have pulled, tried to pull through there. There's an elevator. Anyway, I'm going to go past this view hall and maybe come back again. That was shared in like so, all right. Uh, it's a truck, friendly truck driver again. I'm coming up on Towner, Colorado. I'm not sure. I'm sure that I can find, find a place to park. I still have 30 minutes. I think I can make it to the state line. Should I just pull over and park? There, yeah, there's a small one there. There's a bigger one coming up here. That was a 31 minute mark on the uh, ELD. If I go any further past uh, the elevators, I won't have a place to park. Because the elevator is about the only place to park. Unless I make the state line. I think there's a wide area at the state line. I guess I'm going, I'm going for it. Guess I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, 30, 30, mi 30 minutes should be able to get me, well, 30 miles, right? A mile a minute, right? I think the next elevator that I see here is, uh, that'd be Tri Tribune, I think. Or is there something else out here after Towner? I don't know, I can't remember anymore. State line's just a couple miles. I thought it wasn't too far. There's a tree there where the state line is at. I can see the tree now. I actually, I saw the tree when I came out of town. Or that elevator's not on the highway. That's on the railroad tracks. The railroad tracks are right there. They're right there. But we're gonna turn and go uh, uh, south a half a mile here. Actually, the tree is not at the state line. There is a sign for Colorado. Actually, well, the tree might be there for uh, Kansas. Eh, I think I can get over to Tribune. Someone stopped to take a picture of the Colorado state line sign. Yeah, there's a white spot right here. Not much of one. And yes, that wheat has been cut. So, 28 minutes to get someplace. Well, at least I made it to Kansas. I won't make it home, but.
railroad tracks are off about a half mile. Well, when you see the elevator, that's where the railroad tracks are at. And I can't see, but I'm pretty sure that elevator still gets uh, train uh, grain cars. There's none sitting there now, but I'm sure they do because there's not a whole lot of elevators out here in the middle of nowhere for a whole bunch of farmers that, you know, are still living out here and uh, having a very large acreage fields. There's a whole string of covered hoppers up here, but I don't think they're green. I think they're two big covered hoppers. There is another elevator. This elevator is pretty neat. There's no head house to it. All it is is silos, and then there's a there's a there's a, a, a pipe coming out of it. See, those are two big covered hoppers over there. You can't even see them, can you? See, two big covered hoppers. They're shorties. here. I was wondering about that rain cloud I saw. So here comes this elevator. There's no head house on it. Uh oh. Let's get it in the picture here. In the frame. So see the right there. There's no head house. It's just silos. And then like I said there's a pipe coming out to feed these two grain elevator silos on the side. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sorry about that. I don't know if they're using the two bay covered hoppers for grain out here or not. 25 minutes and then you get clear out here on the end and there's four four bay covered hoppers those last four right there are four bay covered hoppers my my guess is that those have been there for a while so I think they're just storage Oh, so yeah, this is Kansas 96, of course. That was one good thing. They went from Colorado 96 to Kansas 96. So today I have been on uh, 70 and 76 and 25. And some surface streets. And, oh, 270. And then surface streets. And then back on 70. And then 25, uh, excuse me, 225, and then 25. That took me down to Colorado Springs, and then 24. And after I got it done unloading there in Colorado Springs, I jumped on, well, back on 24. And then I hit 94. And then 287. And I stopped in Eads and got fuel and some food and something to drink. And then 287 down to the turnoff for 96. And then 96, Colorado 96, and then into Kansas for 96. Another little elevator out here, not even really a not a not a white not a, a not a si concrete silo painted white elevator but just gray steel elevator or grain silos grain bins twenty three minutes I was thinking there was a little wayside area, but I think that's past Leota, and I'm not going to make Leota. Tribune's the next big town, and I'm going to have to stop in Tribune, because I don't think there's anything in Selkirk. 
so windrow trees this one's I think he's a fairly big farmer or not that one well maybe it is because I think that's a whoop, that's a big building right there three combines uh oh ah sorry about that I paused the video to sneeze didn't think you need to hear me sneeze sneeze three times I hate that elevation or high uh, coming down in elevation my cans are popping anyway all right 